Evolution have kindly asked me to take a look at one of their machines. This is a Rage 4 185mm multi purpose cut off saw. This is how it arrives. We'll have a look inside the box. Inside the box, along with the saw, we have a set of instructions, a rubber vice protector that goes on the vice to protect the workpiece, dust extraction fitting. This is called a speed handle and it goes on the vice handle there to make operating the vice much quicker. We've got three Allen keys. The first one is for adjusting the vice, the second one is for changing the saw blade, and the third one, the smallest, is for removing this blade guard. And we also have a spare set of brushes. So the first thing that you notice about this saw is how small and compact it is. The speed handle just screws onto this here. There's a hole pre-drilled and tapped for it. There's a nut that's inside the handle that will stop you from over tightening it. So, And that actually needs adjusting slightly so I'll take this back off. So you can see the nut in the end there. That needs to be protruding slightly past the end of the handle when the screw's been pushed in firmly from the back so as you can see it's kind of there but I think it needs a little bit more so I'm just gonna stop that with my finger and as you can see it's about a millimeter proud now I think that'll be all right so I'll screw that on again that never worked particularly well because it was actually adjusting the nut as I was screwing it in so I've pulled the nut out further and I'm going to kind of tighten it up slowly by adjusting that very slightly as I go along a little bit more so I'm just basically screwing it further this way along the thread to get it where I want it I think we need a little bit more than that still wants to be a little bit further I'm going to try it at that I think that's perfect so a little bit fiddly but not too difficult to do just means that it's easy now to operate the vice. The dust collector is designed to screw on where the steel plate is so you've got the option of either having the dust collector on or off. So installing the uh, rubber protector on the vice is quite difficult. I think I'm going to need a flathead screwdriver to do that and I need to be careful with my fingers. So I'm going to push the rubber down and into the hole and then I'm going to use a screwdriver to just ease it in. So it's in the bottom now it's actually popping out as I'm doing that, but I think we'll get it if I try hard enough. Really close there, just the bottom bit here that's not in. That's the first one fitted and that is way too difficult. You need to be really careful because you could hurt yourself doing that. But that's the first one in, so I'm going to try the same uh, process to get the second one in. I don't want us to think that Evolution could either do to fit these before they arrive or maybe look at an easier way to fit the the rubber protection onto the vice saying that if you're careful it's okay so that's the second one in and I found actually that when I'd got sort of two-thirds of the way in from this side it was possible to come in the back and manipulate the back to get it in from the back which is a much safer option so it might be worthwhile looking at doing that when you fit both sides this plate at the back is to allow you to fix a dust collector and I would only fix the dust collector if you're going to be cutting wood with it. I've got to take off these four screws. So take those off. This plate pops off. There's a lug on this that goes inside the hole. One thing that you need to be aware of when you fit this is that it is very slightly rectangular. It's not square so it will only go on one way and have all four screw holes line up. As you can see my shop vac nozzle fits in there but it's a little bit slack. There is inside of here a bolt that stops it from going all the way in so I reckon that's okay. So I reckon it's taken me about 10 minutes in total to assemble the machine. A little bit fiddly. Fitting the handle was a little bit fiddly but it was no great shakes. Not really a problem. And the worst thing by far was getting this rubber protector on the vice. But even then, once I'd actually had a play with it, 
working it out the second way where I was working from the back was quite a bit easier. So as far as assembly is concerned there is very little assembly required for this machine which is a good thing.